beautiful people welcome to my channel if it is your first time here my name is Tatiana and thank you for clicking on this video today I wanted to bring you guys my makeup look this is the look that I would typically wear if I am hanging out with friends going to a bar going to brunch something very cute and simple so I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get right into it so I'm done with my brows I'm just gonna go and clean them up a little bit with my NARS concealer Now we're going to blend this bad boy. Okay you guys, so I'm done with my eyebrows and I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I never tried a Sephora palette and I went to Sephora two days ago and I stumbled upon this baby. This is their I Love Let's you that more I love palette. I really love this palette because the colors are very simplistic and neutral. So when I went to Sephora, I also got the Makeup Forever Eye Primer. Seems to be great for the lid and the lips. And today I'm just gonna be using it on my lid. I'm gonna be using the first color right here on my lid. So now I have this first color all over my lid. I'm going to use a similar brush and pack the second shade on the upper level on my crease and in the corner. I want a darker color and this area of my eye. So I'm gonna use the third color, this one right here, and this section of my eyes. I'm gonna go back with the blending brush that I used for the middle color. Just grab a little and blend it all together. Very, very simple. So now that I'm done applying the eyeshadow, I want to add a wing just to give it a little pop. So I'm gonna clean the corner of my eyes and do the ring using my, my wing liner from Rare Beauty. Now that I'm done with the eyes, I have my eyeshadow and my eyeliner on. I'm gonna go with my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. Usually go with three pumps. And I spread it all over my face. go again with my NARS and the shade Hazelnut. I wanted to continue sharing my dating stories. So I ended up meeting this guy. He's from a different background. I'm gonna refer to him as, what was his name? Oh, I even forgot his name. <laughs> so um, I met him on Bumble and we started take, talking. I gave him my number and we went on a date and the date went actually very well. And he was pretty consistent. He would you know, come pick me up, we would go on dates, etc. I started to like him. 
you know because i was like oh my gosh like he's cool you know and this could potentially go somewhere i'm gonna switch to this brush for the inner corners so you know when you start dating and they tell you to ask a ton of questions so i am a very curious person anyways but at that time like I asked about his past relationship how did the relationship end it the girl moved back home to Maryland and he didn't want to move they ended up breaking up and that was the girl that he was in a serious relationship with before I met him on Mumble so we ended up going on multiple dates and we were thinking about like okay are we exclusive are we not um, we were trying to figure out if we wanted to really take that step but little did I know he had a trip scheduled to Rome in July. So let's say we started talking in May, May, June. We talked, we went on dates. In July, he had this trip scheduled to go to Rome. And I'm like, oh, who are you going with, you know? And he's like, oh, I'm just going with a friend. I'm like, okay. You know, again, I asked questions and I got the answer. Little did I know he went to Rome with the ex-girlfriend. How I found out was he is a photographer, right? He's a photographer and was posting pictures of his strips on his Instagram. And he posted a picture of this girl. It was a little bit weird. So when I went in the comments, I realized that this is the girl that he traveled with. I remembered the girl's name when he told me. And in the comments, people were mentioning his ex-girlfriend's name. So I put two and two together and I'm like, oh my God, he had the audacity to like leave me home and he still traveled with his ex-girlfriend without telling me. When I put two and two together and I'm like, you know what, there's no way that a guy in his 20s would travel by himself. Like there's no way. It's either with a group of guys or with your significant other. So when I found out on Instagram, what I did is screenshotted the picture of the girl and I texted him the picture of the girl. It was about 11 at night. I texted him the picture of the girl and I was like, you mother piece up, you know, like I can't believe you came back from this trip and we got intimate and you had the audacity to do that to me after you were with your ex-girlfriend so i texted him that and he started blowing up my phone so i picked up and i confronted him about it i was like did you not go on a trip with your ex-girlfriend and at the at the beginning he was like like what the are you talking about um what are you you going crazy like i told you i went with a friend i was like wasn't that your ex-girlfriend that's the question that i'm asking finally he admitted like he was like yeah you know what like i went on this trip with her i didn't want to cancel it was already planned we already like you know paid for it and everything i had a problem with that and he made it worse by not mentioning it once that he was going with his ex-girlfriend and all i ask for when i'm dating or in a relationship is for you for men not to lie to me and just be transparent that's all i ask for so that lack of honesty like really like really made me realize that you know what i cannot move forward with you so it was like really messed up and i told him what i thought of him and i told him to never call my phone again so he was blocking whatsapp blocked basically everywhere instagram i was gonna make a fool out of myself if i ended up going out with this guy you know making it official knowing that you're still messing around with your ex-girlfriend no let me know if you guys like like to hear the stories because i have plenty i could even do like a sit down wind down you know story series on my channel i'm gonna set my concealer with holy grail laura mercier in the shade medium deep while my face is setting i'm just gonna go with my fancy bronzer and bronze very quickly
the same bronzer, I will quickly contour my nose. Now using a big brush, I'm gonna get rid of the excess powder. And remember, when you're very dry, when you have dry skin, you don't wanna bake for too long. I am gonna go over my face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder in the shade Ebony. And this is supposed to bring the face together. Press it in. Now that I'm done setting my face with the Sephora Press Powder, I'm just gonna go over with my setting spray from Urban Decay. This is an everyday look, and for an everyday look, I wouldn't necessarily apply lashes, falsies. So I'm just gonna go with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I can truly say that the lashes, not the lashes, the mascara give me length, but not so much volume. So we are almost done with the look, you guys. I'm loving it so far, super simple. I would go to the bar, hang out with my friends, looking not necessarily beat, but still cute. To finish this up, I wanna try this new lipstick that I grabbed from Huda Beauty. So I'm first going to prime my lips using the Smith's Tropical Ambrosia Balm. I do need to exfoliate my lips after this. This is what the color looks like you guys i really really love it it is super subtle not loud and it is a perfect lipstick especially for now the fall season and i'm loving it although this is an everyday look i still like to go over with a little bit of highlight just on the tip of my nose and again to bring the face together i will add the same highlight shade in the corner of my eyes and this is it this is simple cute this is like a cute everyday makeup look still look fresh clean pretty but not like super glam you know so i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video let me know if you end up recreating this look and i really wanted to share the simple makeup look with you don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye